I am Pastor Dele Roshilo, the State Overseer of Deeper Life Bible Church, Ogo State. We are bringing to you the program, The Truth, featuring salvation, life, health, happiness, peace, and marriage, including child training and many others. The message is brought to you by Pastor W.F. Kumui, the General Superintendent of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry Worldwide. Happy viewing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because of what you've done already. Open the heavens. Open the heavens. Send your power down in Jesus' name. Make impossibilities possible. And roll the mountains away from everyone, Lord. And we pray, Lord, everywhere this message is going right now, I pray your power will follow that message. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to talk to you on total healing for the whole man. Total healing for the whole man. There are people that limit healing to a particular area. But there is healing for the soul. There is healing for the body. There is healing for the mind. There is healing for the insane. There is healing for those who are deformed. There is healing for everyone. The whole man, as you look at yourself tonight, any part that needs the touch of God, any part that needs a miracle, any part that needs to rise up from the dead, any part of your body that has stopped functioning tonight, life is coming to that part in Jesus' name. Total healing, complete healing. And as you hear the message, many of the things we say will be happening to you already. And many of the miracles you'll be expecting, you have found this happened to so and so, this happened to such and such, that happened to so and so. All those things they are coming upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. In Hebrews chapter 13, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. What he did in the past. He opened the eyes of the blind in the past. He made the lame to walk in the past. He unstopped deaf ears in the past. He cured leprosy in the past. He raised the dead in the past. Jesus Christ, the same, yesterday, today, and forever. And he will do that same thing in your life in Jesus' name. Acts of the Apostles chapter 10. Acts of the Apostles chapter 10. Just to let you know, that Jesus has not decreased in power. He has not decreased in his compassion. He has not decreased in his ability, divine ability that made him to do all that he did in those days. Acts of the Apostles chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And then it says, and he went about doing good. It will come your way tonight. That place where you're sitting or standing or lying down, Christ is coming there to meet you at your point of need. He went about doing good and healing. How many did he heal? Tell me out loud. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Some people erroneously say when they are sick, they say it is the handwork of God. They say it is the will of God. They say it is the destiny that God has appointed for them when they are sick. They do not know that sickness comes from the devil. When God created Adam and Eve, he did not create sickness with him. It was the fall into sin. It was yielding to the devil that brought all those sins. And so here it says, Jesus went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God 
was with him. Because of the presence of God and because of partnership with the Almighty God, that's how those miracles happened. And Jesus is still the same today. And the Almighty God is still the same today. In fact, in Malachi chapter 3. Malachi chapter 3. I'm reading there from verse 6. So see, already we've read that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's listen to the word of God concerning the Almighty God himself, who was always with Christ and who is still with Christ. It says, For I am the Lord, I change not. I am the Lord, I change not. As he loved those people in days gone by, and he answered their prayer, he loves us the same, and is going to answer every prayer. As he blessed all those people in days gone by, he blesses us today because he says, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Therefore, ye followers of Christ are not consumed. Therefore, ye sons of God and daughters of God are not consumed. In Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 11, Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 11, we have heard about God the Father, he changes not. We have heard about God the Son, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's hear something about the Holy Ghost. And you will know that that same power of the Holy Ghost resident in the believer, that same power is still there today. It tells us in Romans chapter 8 verse 11, But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, so powerful, the Holy Ghost so mighty, that Jesus had died. You know the story. He was crucified. You know the story. He died. You know the story. He was buried. On the third day is the power of the Holy Ghost that raised him from the dead. And it says, if that same Spirit, if that same Holy Ghost that has not changed, that raised up Jesus from the dead, dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth in you. Tonight is that night. And tonight is your night. All the problems you have carried, all the mountains you have carried that weighed you down on your mind, on your back, in your family. Tonight is that night the power of the Holy Ghost will roll everything away from you in Jesus' name. Let's quickly consider three things before we pray because tonight is night of power, night of prayer, a night of supernatural in your life in Jesus' name. Number one, God's promises and provision for total healing. God's promises and provision for total healing. What he promises, he provides for. And he gives us, he fulfills his promise. Every time we rely on that promise. Number two, gracious preparation and prescription for today's healing. Today is the day. I said today is the day. And I must say, I must personalize it. Today is your day. Anybody there that you are born with a particular deformity, that's how you are born. The Lord is going to turn everything around tonight. Anybody there, somebody there, your, your brain is like they are boiling water inside your brain. It's so hot. I bring peace. And I bring rest and healing, deliverance on that brain tonight in Jesus' name. You see, whatever it is, you can't wait tonight. Tonight is the night of power. Gracious preparation and prescription. What do you do? How do you prepare so that today's healing will not miss you? That's what I'm going to talk about there in point number two. Number three, great power and prayer 
for timely healing. Great power and prayer for timely healing. There is a time attached to even the miracle. You don't want to suffer any longer. You don't want to endure the pain any longer. Your timely healing is available right here. Number one, God's promise and provision for total healing. You see, whenever we pray, we should know that God has promised what we're asking for. And if God has promised what we're asking for, we come with confidence, we come with boldness, we come with assurance. Because we know who God is. His promise does not depend on how you feel. His promise does not depend on whether it is possible for you or not. It's possible for him. He is God and he is the one that promised it. And because of that promise, oh, praise the Lord tonight. Fulfillment of promises will happen here, will happen everywhere. You are hearing the word of God in Jesus' name. Look at this now, look at this now. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. God's promises. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. And said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Thank God that's what we're doing. You know, the, the Lord knows that you love the word, you hear the word, you read the word. You know, sometimes as you look around, you know, this one has a Bible, that one has a Bible. And when the word of God is going on, we're hearing, we're soaking it in, we're sinking it in. That's the condition. And thank God you are the candidate for miracle. I am a candidate for miracle. I am a candidate for miracle. It says, if ye shall diligently hack into the voice of the Lord your God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Who is your healer? I said, who is your healer? And he's going to do it tonight. And he says, I will not bring any of the diseases of Egypt upon you. Well then, if the diseases of the world, diseases that is rampaging the villages, the diseases that is killing a lot of people in the world, if it comes to you, the number one thing you know as a child of God, as a believer, this is not from God. This is not from God. Any disease of Egypt, any disease of Babylon, any disease of the Assyrians, any disease of the people of the world that do not know God and they are crying, this is killing them, this is tormenting them, this is torturing them. If it ever comes to you, the number one thing you know, this is not from God. If it is not from God, I reject it. If it is not from God, I reject it. And as we reject it, it will go in Jesus' name. And then he says, he says, I am, I am, I am the Lord that healeth thee. He is the ever-present healer. And the promise is so sure. The promise is so definite. Tonight, the fulfillment will come in your life in Jesus' name. We're looking at Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23. I read from verse 19. Numbers chapter 23, we're looking at verse 19 and see this a glorious promise of God. It tells us in verse 19, God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. As he said, and shall he not do it? He's asking us, what has God said? God said, I will heal you. Wouldn't he do? Of course, he will do it. He said, call unto me. And I will show you great and mighty things you never knew before. He has said it. Will he not do it? Of course he will do it. He said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He has said it. Shall he not do it? Of course he will do it. That's the assurance the Lord is giving us. He's telling us that whatsoever he has promised, he has also provided for the promise and the provision. The promise and the provision, they go together. And thank God is coming your way tonight. 
it says God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent as he said and shall he not do it then he says or as he spoken and shall he not bring it to pass behold I have received commandment to bless I have received commandment to bless and he has blessed and I cannot reverse it the blessing of God coming upon your life tonight Satan cannot reverse it the blessing of God coming upon your life tonight evil spirits cannot reverse it any enemy hidden somewhere whatever they are doing whatever they are saying no enemy can reverse the promise of God in your life tonight in Jesus name if you are blind he promises to open your eyes that you will see if you are lame, he promises to make you rise up and walk. If you have HIV AIDS, he promises that it's going to take the HIV AIDS away. It's the disease of Egypt. It's the sickness of Assyria. It's the sickness of Babylon. And the sickness of Babylon will not be on any member of the church of the living God in Jesus' name. The devil cannot reverse this one. Your enemy cannot reverse this one. All the powers that may join together, conspire together against your life, they cannot reverse the promise of God in your life tonight in Jesus' name. And even you yourself, your mind, your thoughts, your own idea, your weakness cannot reverse the, the, the promise of God. If the strong cannot reverse something, can the weak reverse that thing? No matter how you are thinking, how will this happen? How will this happen? What God said will be, will be. What God said will be done, will be done. And nothing will reverse the promise of God in Jesus' name. Look at this in verse 23. Surely, everybody say surely. Uh, that's the certainty of the blessing of God coming upon your life tonight. He says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. There's no enchantment against me. I said there's no enchantment against you. Neither is there divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what has God God wrought. God is about to do something. You will see with your eyes. You will hear with your ears. You feel it in your body in Jesus' name. In 1 Kings chapter 8, 1 Kings chapter 8, I want you to see the faithfulness of God. The God that cannot fail. That when he gives a promise, he fulfills a promise. He cannot fail. And he's a faithful God. He's faithful to the youngest and to the least in the family of God. He's faithful to the leaders and to the pastors in the church of God. He's faithful to the members and the workers. He's faithful to everyone. There's nobody that can rise up and say, yes, he's faithful to everybody, only he's not faithful to me. That cannot be. He's faithful to everyone. And tonight you will taste the faithfulness of God. I said you will taste the faithfulness of God. When a father, a mother prepares food, he prepares the food for all the children in the family. And no matter, you know, what that child might be or what child might not be, it is for everyone in the family. And you are part of the family of God. In fact, even our parents, when they prepare food, if there are some children around that are in the house at that time, even though they may not be their children, they are not going to allow those children to just stay like that while their own children are eating. Anyone that comes near God and he says, I have a need, I am sick, I'm tormented, I'm oppressed, I have this challenge, I have that challenge. As the Lord is blessing his own children, that blessing will flow to everyone. Look at this, look at this in First Kings chapter 8. First Kings chapter 8, reading from verse 56, it says, Blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people Israel. He will give you rest. Rest in the day and rest in the night 
and rest from all the torments and all the pressures of the enemy. And it says, according to all that he promised, there has not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. It says, according to his promise, there has not failed one promise which he promised by in the word of God. That's why we know tonight, since he promised to heal, that promise will not fail. He promised to deliver, that promise will not fail. He promised to save, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, that promise shall not save. Anyone that says, I don't want to go to hell, I want to go to heaven, Jesus says, come in, come in. Because whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's why we have the confidence that today as we come to the Lord, the mercy of God is so abundant. The compassion of the Lord is so overflowing. And the salvation of the Lord is available for everyone. And his miracles, he is not stingy with miracles. He gives to everyone. He gives the promise. He gives the provision. Je Jeremiah chapter 33 and we're reading from verse 3 Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 praise the Lord for miracles tonight I said praise the Lord for miracles tonight I feel the power I sense the power and I know God is going to do something supernatural in your life tonight in Jesus name Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call unto me and I will answer thee Call unto me. There is no barrier tonight. There has not been a barrier any time. And there is no wall of demarcation between you and miracle tonight. The moment you stretch out your hand, you touch God's miracle power. And the moment you call on the name of the Lord tonight, you are going to touch that miracle working power in your life. He says, call unto me, and I will show, I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, not ordinary things, tonight extraordinary miracles. Tonight mighty miracles. Tonight miracles you never had of in your life is coming your way even tonight. It says I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You will know it. I said you will know it. In Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, reading from verse 16. And remember that Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's always the same. He's done it before. He's going to do it again. He tells us in Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. He says, when the evening was come, like this evening now, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word. The word of God you are hearing has enough power loaded into it to cast out every devil that may torment anyone there and healed all that was sick. He healed all that was sick and he also cast out all the evil spirits. Then in verse 17, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself, himself, himself is right by your side there. I said is by your side right there. Himself, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. That is, number one, God's promise and God's provision for total healing. Point number two, gracious preparation and prescription for today's healing. How do we prepare ourselves? How do you prepare yourself? What is it? God, God says, one, two, three, do this, and healing is guaranteed. Guaranteed. That you prepare yourself and you say today, tonight, is the day of my healing. This moment is the moment of my miracle. And then if I need to prepare at all, get myself adjusted, get myself ready, so that this healing of today will be mine. What is it I do? Number one, look at this in 
Second Chronicles chapter 7. Second Chronicles chapter 7. I'm reading from verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people are the people of God here tonight, I said that the people of God here tonight, God will fulfill his promise in your life. If my people, which are called by my name, you are called by the name of God Almighty, by the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are called by the name of Christ, your Savior, your Lord. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal and will heal and will heal their land. I am sure you are blessed. You can contact us through any of the phone numbers displayed on the screen. However, you can visit us at any of our church locations in the state. In particular, the church state headquarters located at Sam Ewang Estate, Leme Abeokuta. Our fellowships hold on Sundays, 8 a.m. for the Sunday worship service, on Mondays, for the expository and systematic study of the Bible. On Thursdays, 6 p.m. for Miracle and Revival Hour. See you same time, same station, next week. Remain blessed.